Hey, what's up? This is Scott from Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about typographic for stylus. Now, this is a really great package that allows for some really great presets for your font sizes. You can essentially drop in some sort of an interval, and that's going to set the font sizes for your entire site so that they're guaranteed to look good. So check it out. We're going to get going on that right now. So to get typographic, we just have to come to the GitHub page. And as you can see, there's uh, some more examples and, and things like that on a Corey Simmons page here. And we're gonna go over a couple of Corey Simmons uh, stylus packages and other videos, because he does great work. So this typographic is a really interesting stylus package that I happen to use all the time, especially when I'm throwing together a quick mock-up or I'm working on a, a side project and I don't wanna spend a ton of time designing. This allows you to design and browser really easily by basically setting your font sizes for you. And it's gonna make sure that they have vertical rhythm. It's just gonna be a nice, uh, a nice way to set your font sizes. So what we can do here is we can first install typographic and now again, I probably wouldn't be installing typographic globally on my system because I'm probably usually going to be using some sort of build process like Gulp or Grunt or something like that. Or even CodeKit can like take care of these things for you. But for this example, let's do a uh, sudo npm install and then the package, if we come to Chrome here, is just typographic. And I'm gonna install this globally so I can use it on this project. If you have a node package uh, and everything all set up for your current project, you can just do npm install typographic. Now what we're gonna do is run the same command we've been running, except for instead of uh, unib, you rupture, it's gonna be unib, you rupture, and then we're going to do u typographic as well, just like that. Okay, so now it's going to add on typographic as to something else we're using. Okay, now let's head back to our project. What you can see is that the first thing we need to do is place this add import typographic at the top. We didn't need to do that for rupture, but we did need to have to do it for nib, so we're used to this at this point. Um, let's go ahead and just paste this in here. Okay, so we're now using typographic. Now, what this essentially does is it allows you to quickly use some font stacks and it quick allows you to quickly use some presets and ratios to get some really great typography. So we have it installed. Let's go ahead and see what sort of presets there are. Uh, you have this like T headers, T presets. Um, there's this demo here that you can check out. But more importantly, let's come to what we have, the font stacks. We have the presets, uh, ratios. I'm just gonna open these up in tabs so we can sort of see what exists. So you can see we have typographic font stacks and in here there's several serif and sans serif. So if we wanted a Helvetica font stack, we could just drop that in there. Likewise, a Futura one. So I'm gonna drop this Futura font stack in here. So how do we go about doing that? Well, since this is just a variable, all we really have to do is come in here. Let's do inside of our body. We can just say font family and then paste in Futura. We save this and with just that variable, we now not just have Futura, but we have Futura. Uh, I've never known how to say this font title, so I'm not gonna try Arial sans serif. And we have all those fonts just by simply using this Futura variable. Okay, so that's font stacks. It's essentially just a variable of font stacks. There's also this T headers mixin, which you can use to pass it in a, uh, a font stack, and it's going to make your header and body font stacks differ. The T headers mixin allows you to change all of the headers, so essentially H1 through H6, and have those same uh, fonts. So if we wanted to do that, we could just simply throw this in here and just say T header headers and then paste in Futura. We can save that. Now what you'll see is that we have H1 through H6 all set to font family Futura. Likewise, we can modify that to say Helvetica 
and it's going to use the different font stack instead. We have Helvetica New, Helvetica Arial Sans Serif. Okay, so this is just setting your headers. So now let's actually check out some of this T presets mixin, which is actually going to be the meat and bone sort of of why you would use typographic. If we come in here at the very top of our document, actually let's do it below this normalize mixin, we can simply just say T presets and let's just throw it a number. Uh, because we can give it all sorts of presets, uh, you can give them by name or number. Um, we don't really know what this preset one is, but just to see what happens. Uh, so when I save this, you can see we have some things that have happened here. We have H1 through H6 have been giving a mar margin bottom and top, along with some font sizes and line heights. So two, two rems with a two uh, rem line height, 175 with a 175 line height. Now what happens if we change this preset, we can hit save. You'll now see that H1 has a, or a font size of four and a line height of four, three, five, three, five. Now, what are these presets? We opened up a while ago one of these tabs that was these ratios, um, and the ratios include our various presets. So to take a look at this mixin, what it's doing is essentially taking our ratio and it's scaling uh, our font size based on whatever ratio we're passing it. Now, Corey was awesome enough to include this ratios.styl, which is essentially some really great ratios. What we have here is a minor second, major second, minor third, major third. So as you can see, these are all based off of musical sort of intervals. What we can do is simply grab one of these, let's say perfect fourth, which is a 1.333 ratio. And we can drop it in here under our presets and just say perfect fourth. Now we're given every single font size is the base size multiplied by, uh, I believe it was 1.333. Yeah, so we got 2.666. And this is gonna completely change your document. Paragraphs, lists, block quotes, pretty much anything text-based. So if you come here, you can see that this is sort of an example of what you get. What I recommend is if you're designing in browser, I like to essentially throw this mix in, in here. Just try different presets out until it really feels like what I'm looking for out of a hierarchy of font sizes. And it's a, I find it to be very successful in getting up and running really quickly. Now you can always override things as you wish. Uh, but really, it is a nice way to set up your document with great font sizes. Now, if we want it to be responsive, all we really have to do is change the base font size. And in their example here, they've shown that they have the font size originally set at 12, and then at various uh, breakpoints, they're just changing the HTML base font size. By changing that font size, since everything's using rems here, it's going to responsively modify those font values based on your breakpoint. So 1.5996 uh, rems at a base font size of 10 pixels is going to be different than the same rem value at a different base font size. So check out Typographic. It's really one of my most used stylus packages. It allows some really great, easy functionality and hardly any configuration. You essentially just use this. And if I may not use the font stacks uh, presets that often because I'm usually using whatever fonts I would like for this project, I almost always use this presets to design in browser and sort of figure out what a good flow for my font sizes are. Great, so in the next video, we're gonna be talking about JEET, which is my favorite grid system for stylus. It's very, very nice. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions, hit us up at Level Up Tuts at Facebook or Twitter, or leave a comment in the video, pretty much anything. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.